Hey, how are you? Mark from Clickersnap here, and this is the second What's Coming video. And well, there's been a lot going on. Let me give you a quick update on some of the things I talked about in the first video. AI search is coming along really nicely. It's a massive, massive project, but the techies tell me that I should get a first look at it over the next couple of weeks. It's still really early days, but I tell you what, I cannot wait to see it in action. It's gonna change the way we all interact on the site. If you wanna see a long exposure picture of West Pier in Brighton, no problem. In the next two weeks though, the guys are working on some pretty basic stuff that will have a big impact on your experience on the platform and the app. I say basic, I mean, it sounds basic to me, but I'm not a techie. Okay, here's what's coming up in the next couple of weeks. First up, we're introducing or reintroducing a recent tab. It'll be the place that you can see the most recent photos added to the platform. Not every photo, of course, that would be crazy. It'll be a place exclusively for subscribers recently uploaded photos, not free accounts, but it will mean that more people will be able to see your photos without relying solely on the people who already follow you or your photo making it onto the explore page. So you'll get more views and more paid views. Okay, second thing, a picture is worth a thousand words, and that's true, but words are absolutely necessary to convey the full story. We only need to look at the world of marketing to demonstrate this. It's just one black sheep in a flock of white sheep, right? And then you read the words and it becomes clear what the picture is trying to convey. This one's a bit more up to date. And let's add the words. Now I know I'm in marketing, but when they did this, I mean, I was in awe. It was massive news at the time. KFC had run out of chicken and this is how they dealt with the negative PR. I mean, it's, it's utterly brilliant. Anyway, all of that was to demonstrate that words matter. I feel like I've built this up into something way, way bigger than it actually is. But, well, we're going to be putting the title of your photo underneath it on the Explore and the Feed page. We're not trying to turn you all into marketers, but to get a paid view, you need people to click on your photo to view it, right? And up until now, the picture itself has had to do all of the heavy lifting. But now you can also write titles that will encourage more people to click. Okay, lastly, at least for this video, there's a hell of a lot more going on, but these are the most exciting bits as far as I'm concerned. In a couple of weeks time, we'll start letting you know when you receive a new follower and showing you a selection of three of their photos, an option to follow them back and new, the new followers username and bio. Once again, this feature is all about making it easier to follow people and for them to follow you, which of course increases the number of views on your photo. Oh, there's one more thing for those of you who use the app. We're just finishing this off, but in the next couple of weeks, you'll be able to long press on a photo on the app to view it up close. It will also display the buttons for rating the photo and following the user. I seriously reckon that they just did that for me because I was always complaining that I couldn't really see the photo properly on my phone. Right, I think that's about it for this one. As ever, if you enjoyed this video, you like the idea of us talking about what's coming up or you wanna flatter my fragile ego, whatever the reason, it doesn't really matter, hit the subscribe button to get notified when I post a new video, which given current form, will be sometime in about 2025 but I promise I'll try hard.